What is good? I am back with another reaction video. Chris D'Elia on the latest episode of his podcast apparently threatened uh, his Uber Eats driver. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and give you, react to it and give you my thoughts. Uh, you should stick around for my thoughts because I think you're going to be surprised at what I think about this. But let's go ahead and check out what Chris D'Elia had to say. This motherfucker's going down, dude. And I don't even like to fucking dox people, but I can't really dox him because they don't give you his name. I found this fucking goddamn shit. Oh, she, I, I had her, her phone on it. What was it? Like Nile? Not Nile. Hey, babe. Kristen. Fucking fuck. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get it. Here it is on the upper corner. I don't know his name, but it's going to say it on the upper corner here. This motherfucker. God, I wish I could still call him, man. I want to, if you get him. What happened is um, he ordered Uber Eats and that order got canceled. Don't use him. I want to get him again and fucking get some nice shit. Get some bottles and just when he shows up, crack him over his head. And be like, remember the steaks? Bam. <laughs> So, <laughs> that, allow me to defend Chris D'Elia here. These Uber Eats, Grubhub, and drivers have become terrible. Terrible service. They don't even bring the food to your door. They leave it outside. Personally, because I order a lot from these places, like daily, because I'm lazy and I have money, so I just order food all the time. Um, I've begun just to tip a dollar. Because I first I tried bribing them with, like, if you actually bring the food to my door and not leave it three houses away from me, uh, I'll give you a cash tip. That stopped working. Then I realized it doesn't matter if you tip them $10 or $1. The food is, they're going to forget something and the food is just going to be left. They're going to get, they're going to text you. Yeah, we dropped off your food. Eh, it's on the next block. I was like, What? The problem is because they're not real delivery drivers the way a delivery driver used to be like from like a pizza place where they had to bring it to your door and stuff like that. Now, I do like the convenience of a Grubhub and an Uber Eats because you got to order from restaurants that, I mean, the only places you could order for from back in the day was just pizza places, but those delivery drivers knew how to deliver food. But that was Chris D'Elia going off. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.